time and walk around. What's up, Rico the Opinionist here on my YouTube channel and my Facebook. And, and I want to welcome you to another edition of me sharing an opinion. But look, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. That's all I ask. Hit that notification bell on it when you're on the YouTube channel. And so you can get all the latest stuff. Or you can go in and check out all the opinions that you have not heard from me ever on my YouTube channel. Because that's what it's all about from here and on out. And uh, participate in the links. Um, in my description box. Participate in the links. I have my cash app, my PayPal, my, the, book to my, the link to my book. If you haven't bought it yet. And it's in the description box of my YouTube channel and the link to my nonprofit. Uh, it's called Black Man Mojo. The name speaks for itself. This is a nonprofit I'm putting together and I need your help so I can get it off the ground. What I want to do is offer, what I plan to do, what I'm going to do is offer free counseling for black men as well as empowerment programs, create initiatives that would empower black men and black boys. So, find this something that you'd like to uh, you know, support, get at me. Uh, in the meantime, share this particular live right now. Share, 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 and encourage others to give. give, give. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to catch up on all the thoughts that I've been having. And so this is one that came across a few days ago, but it's never too late to speak about something you have not had a chance to speak about, right? So it's about, I saw in the news where the Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball has now finally, or thrown us a bone to recognize the old Negro Baseball League. I'll tell y'all something. Major League Baseball, y'all can keep that bullshit. Isn't that interesting? How you sabotaged and robbed it and bled it of all its talent and all of its resources to empower your league, destroyed that league, and now you want to Make it now. Yeah, we recognize you. We even recognize the records that they set, the records that they broke. We recognize those old niggas back in the 1940s and 50s. But we wouldn't play with them too tough because we knew they were better than us. Babe Ruth would have not been Babe Ruth had Babe Ruth played equally with black players. Y'all know how this works. So I guess the next thing is the NBA is going to formally recognize all of the talent and the scoring and the records set and records broken by the American Basketball Association, black folks. See, this, that's a, that, that was such an insult. But I saw a lot of people say, oh, wow, that's cool. They recognize it. Well, see, if you know your history and know who you are as black people in this country or, Af or American descendants of slaves, because it's part of American history. If you understood that, that wouldn't have been such a, hey, thank you moment. You would have been insulted just like me. No, I wasn't alive during those times, but my grandmother was. I wasn't alive during the times of segregation, but I read the history, and I've seen the movies and the documentaries. They treated black folks like dogs, but still even treated like being treated like dogs. Black folks still rose to the con no, no bloom through the concrete. Concrete. I'm sorry, yeah. you folks got me speaking incorrectly. So pissed off about this foolishness. Still made it through. With all of that, that's to let you know how powerful our melanin is and how powerful we are when our minds are set to it. Integration was the worst thing that could have happened to black people. We got, we, we, they found out, or they told us, okay, you can live next door to us now. Okay, you can have sex with more of my daughters and my sons now. We just lost our damn mind. Therefore, we lost our fight, our fight to win. See, when we were segregating, we was colored folks. Everything we did, we made sure it was 12 times better because in my minds, we thought that they needed, no, we needed to impress them. We don't need you, Major League Baseball. Fuck you. We already know about our people like Satchel Paige and all those. We already know about them. We don't need you to recognize them. Fuck you. We don't need your recognition. We don't need you. But a lot of people, yeah, you know, that's fine. They finally recognized us. We finally validated. We're going to have to come out of that. Because we're better people than that. And we don't need you, Major League Baseball. How about this? If you want to... Do something so great because they love to give black people symbolism. Love to show us like, hey, hey, you know, I'm sorry. What you can do is write a check 
Write a check, because that's what it's about. For me and anybody else, it's what it be about for Jews. That's what it be about for Asians. That what it be about for any other group that was disenfranchised and taken advantage of because the other person owned the system and controlled the life or death of another group of people. Want to apologize or now you want to do some kind of formally recognizing somebody? We don't need your recognition. Let's drop the paper off. Write a check for a half, for a, half a trillion dollars. And that's still putting it lightly to the families of those black players that y'all decided to do the way you do black black schools today. Take out the best and brightest talent and woo them over to your side and, and leave, the, leave the black community with less than average. That's why it's the same practice. That's why you have our top players and, and athletics going to white schools instead of the HBCUs. They know if they took their God-given talents to their own people, we'd be killing them. So you're going to take so... Well, <laughs> You know, what's that black I can't remember the baseball player's name. The only black dude there for the longest. I think he was a Republican, too. When he broke, I guess they say broke the color line. How the hell are you going to break the color barrier? What they did was stood out the way and let just you come in. The same way they do in corporate America today. They, they move out the way and just let you come in. He broke the color line. He broke the barrier. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not impressed by anything you do 200 years later. I you've destroyed and you've plummeted it. You've uh, just made it out to be nothing worthless. Let me tell you what that. I'm gonna give you a perfect example of what that what what they're doing. Here you go. Now you want to recognize the old Negro League. Hell, it's just like going to somebody's garden and all their tomatoes and and their their okra and their greens and everything is just so good. Yeah, you take your ass back there, and you you pick up all the fresh vegetables and and then all the peaches off the trees that bloom, and then when you leave, you pour gasoline on the dirt, all up and down the roads with that beautiful corn and that that beautiful beautiful okra and greens and tomatoes and watermelons and stuff grew out the ground, and and then you chop down the peach tree and put that black dye on the on the on the uh, stump of it so nothing will ever grow. That's what the fuck they did. Then you're going to say, oops, I'm so sorry, after the people who own the goddamn garden starved for the past 200 years. You keep your goddamn recognition. Repair. Just like that whole, that, like that apology for slavery, fuck that. Repair. Dropped off in $2.2 trillion. That's old for all this free labor. So black folks, stop around here letting white folks apologize. You know, give you a pat on the back of 100 years later for some shit they stole and destroyed. If they're going to do that, make, it, make sure it comes with a check. Time out for this symbolism and accepting symbolism as an as a, a acceptable payment for a, a dastardly deed that's been done for so long. It's time out for this shit. So fuck you, Major League Baseball. You can keep your fucking recognition. What black people need to do is go and revitalize and, or, or, or get every Negro piece of paraphernalia, Negro baseball league paraphernalia, and get it and keep it. So that's what we need to do. I just want to share that, that, uh, that opinion. And please share, like, describe, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's where this video is going next. Well, that's where it is right now, as a matter of fact. And uh, holler at me in the... Uh, on the links that are in my description box, as well as on this page. I have my PayPal, my, my Cash App, the link to my nonprofit that I'm putting together, and the link to my book if you have not bought it yet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm short story, that's what it is. So get at me, I'll talk to y'all later. See you on the next, the next opinion. Peace.